Now look, Red. For 20 years, this place has been your father's life. He's run it with taste and dignity. If he has to leave, let's let him do it the same way. Well, what are you going to do? Go home and take a cold shower. of zebras and antelope was relatively uninteresting, so we broke camp and went after the big cat. We got our third leopard in the Nairobi hills. Lily here hit him at 200 yards right between the eyes. We all thought he was dead, but when our native beater approached, he suddenly leaped up and tore that boy to shreds. He was just terribly mangled. Uh, <clears throat> it uh, dampened our spirits a bit, but of course we carried on. We went after elephants. And after five of the big fellows, we thought we'd like to get ourselves a genuine Barbary lion. So we encamped at Covey Hills and spent three tense days and nights waiting for His Royal Highness here to show up. Yes, my friends, it was a waiting game. The third night, we tied a few baby goats to the trees. And in the morning when we looked, there was nothing left but a few bloodstains. Of course, we could spare the goats. They were plentiful. By noon, our native beaters picked up the trail. Uh, finally, we saw him stalking through the tall grass. Suddenly, he turned. My friends, imagine yourselves face to face with that. Look at that snarling, vicious mouth. Those cruel steel jaws. Those slashing fangs. There is a killer, ladies and gentlemen. A vicious, brutal killer. He wouldn't hurt a flea. Unless he was provoked by a bunch of bloodthirsty idiots. I beg your pardon? Well, you should, killing defenseless animals. Firing innocent people. Please, please. Tying goats to trees. Just who do you think you are? I'm not a baby goat tied to a tree and keep away from me. Why, you impudent little... Keep your hands off girls, me. Girls, girls. I'm to teach you a good lesson. I'm warning you, Miss Parker. Why, you nasty little... <laughs> All right, everybody. Let's give the ladies a fair chance. Get up, get up, get up.